Hello, and welcome to the People's Third Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of Monday, March 1st, 2021. Well, as you know, the relief bill is now with the Senate, and there is going to be modif modifications made to this bill. Republican uh, Senator Paul Gozer is proposing an idea to increase the stimulus check amount to $10,000, but I bet there will be a tighter qualifications to receive this. In other words, the income cap might be actually like $50,000 or $40,000, but I'm not sure yet. Information has not come out about that, of, of the qualifications yet. Um, Donald Trump gave his Keystone speech at the CPAC on Sunday. This was his first major uh, speech since basically leaving office on January 20th. Republican Congressman Kevin McCarthy said that he would bet his house that the Republicans will control the House and the Senate in the 2020 election, the 2022 election, sorry. The medical community, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, has heavily is heavily promoting the vaccine from Johnson & Johnson because they're trying to let the people know that it's okay to take it. And plus the fact that uh, people don't really want to take it because Pfizer and Moderna's vaccine is actually a lot more effective than Johnson & Johnson's. And we have just passed the peak of the flu season and the flu basically virtually has disappeared for this year. At least that's what it looks like with sense of COVID. The IRS still hasn't processed 6 million tax returns from last year. A seven-year-old girl from Alabama is selling lemonade to pay for her own brain surgery. I hope she gets enough money made up so she can actually get that taken care of because that's very important. Now that the senders have that bill, you know, there's going to be a lot of modifications to it. And on Thursday, there will be the Voterama session, just like the one that the House held to get this bill passed the House. Just a just reminder, this $1.920 package is President Biden's package, and he was very pleased to see that pass the House. Biden said, if we act now, we can get ahead of the, vi the virus. We can finally get over, sorry, get our economy moving back in the correct direction again. The Republican politicians were not too thrilled with that idea. <clears throat> Democrat Senator Chris Coons said that they tried to work with the Republicans, but all their efforts were, all their offers, sorry, were not adequate enough for the American people. Democratic Senator Sharon Brown said that the relief bill has the support of both parties because the people support it. And a rebuttal to that one was a Republican Senator Rob Portman said, the uh, American public only supports stimulus checks, but they are overlooking the other items in the stimulus package that are relevant to the relief bill. And they're talking about the relief to the foreign aid relief, as well as funding for the arts and other things. And I sort of agree with him on that because America needs to take care of it first itself first before it actually takes care of other countries or helps other countries. And Republican Senator Paul Gozer presented an amendment that offers a ten thousand dollar stimulus checks. His proposal slashes ten items from the relief bill, including foreign aid, funding for the arts, and uh, a fundraiser boost. Uh, basically boosting the confidence in the COVID vaccine, 19 vaccine. And instead it gives people a $10,000 relief check. Isn't that nice? I mean, I actually agree with him on this. I mean, cut, I mean, how does the arts represent uh, COVID-19? How does, uh, well, like boosting, boosting confidence in the, the COVID-19 vaccine is actually not that bad of an idea, but the foreign aid and the arts, I mean, Really? Do we need to actually worry about foreign aid and the arts right now? Because I don't think we do. Gozer said people need to help, need help with car payments, mortgages, rent, and everyday necessities. The uh, people, not the corporations or the billionaires, need this money to survive. 
So basically, he's basically saying that me and you, all my viewers out there that aren't multi-millionaires or massive corporations, we need this money more, more important than they do to survive because of car payments, mortgage, rent, and other necessities of life. And I do agree with him on that one. In the House of Representatives, not a single Republican voted yes for the relief bill. It is also expected that not a single Republican senator will vote yes on this $1.9 trillion relief bill. So, if Republican senators can convince the Democrats to ch on changes in the bill, then there will be changes. And I actually will be keeping you guys updated on all and any changes that happen to this bill that will affect us. Because it's very important that I do. And I'm not sure if you've know, watched the whole CPAC conference, but if you noticed the, uh, how the stage was set out, how it was very reminiscent of the, the, the um, insignia on the Nazis lapel with the triangle with the top swastika part, or how about the golden statue of Donald Trump? We know what happened last time someone actually worshipped a golden calf. It did not turn out good. And also, the Nazi regime, represent, representing of the, how the stage was set out, is also, we turned, saw how that turned out as well. And the hotel that they stayed at said that they were very displeased with the people, with the conference being held there because the people were very uh, rude. And they did not really appreciate having the Nazi symbol on their floors because they're a very respected establishment. And that they would probably not do another CPAC at all after this type of incident. But that is currently all I have right now for the stimulus update. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and let me know. And also, if you guys have any ideas about the whole um, $10,000 stimulus idea, please let me know in my comments. I'd actually love to hear them. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast again to you guys tomorrow as more information becomes relevant. Till then, you have a great night. Bye. My mother told me someday I would buy gummies with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the proud.